hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel um i know i shall be bringing you a video of um congo in the drc but well um something came up and i was like no let me show them a video of my hometown um this is mashingo this is mashingo um the central business district of Mashingo. This is my hometown, the provincial capital of my hometown. Um, and it it is beautiful, as you can see. So today, we are headed to the Great Zimbabwe. I just want to show you um, one reason why you should visit my hometown uh, when you come to Zimbabwe. So beautiful, so majestic and i hope you are going to agree with me uh, so if you are coming here on my channel for the first time i'm asking you to please subscribe to my channel like my videos um share them and comment within the se comment section i really would love to interact with you so let's go with me to great zimbabwe so that i show you why zimbabwe is great especially my hometown here in mashingo For, for what? Okay, don't give it to me, but... Okay. Uh, welcome to Grace and Bad. So this is Kai. Again, my name is Cherry, and I'm going to be your guide for the next two hours. So right now, we're already quite medium, because we're quite medium, because everything which you're going to eat, which is the Bazidi, was found within the Grace and Bad site. So after this, after this session, we are going to the gate enclosure, which was the residence for the team. And from the gate enclosure, if you don't mind, we're going to the Karanga or the Shona Village, which is just a model trying to portray the Shona Village position. And uh, from the Karanga Village, we might as well go to the Hukom Gate, which was the residence for the team. Right. So I don't know if I should give you the BTC room or you have to be in here. After the after the after the after the so I wasn't um, allowed to record anything um, from uh, from this building here because they say it's policy. So I had nothing else to do or take pictures they won't allow. Um, so this place or these walls that you see here are the original walls. Uh, that were that were built by the Roshi people. Uh, nothing has been added. Nothing has been subtracted uh, to these stones. This one here, you see, are the original walls. Uh, so they say man, nothing much has been done to them or maintaining them uh, um, because they the say the there's nothing of significance that, that have been found. The on these walls the um like so they are just left like that um but yeah this is a very beautiful place showing you the history of the shona people the roshi people here in zimbabwe uh, so these walls are the original walls no mortar no um uh what you call it no no mud nothing holding these stones together for decades and decades of years they've been just like this architecture uh that even today no one comprehends and no one can imitate uh showing how great zimbabwe is and look at the beauty of this landscape um zimbabwe is just beautiful i tell you so one day if you are not zimbabwean and you are watching this video you feel like you want to visit zimbabwe and you want um 
to say something great about Zimbabwe, I'm inviting you to my hometown here in Mashingo so that you come and visit the great Zimbabwe. It will show you how great Zimbabwe really is. Uh, so this place here, uh, they are leaving it untouched. It's oh, so natural. Everything is just taken its natural habitat. Like, look at that. Is this not just beautiful? Yeah, so this is Zimbabwe for you. So let's go and I show you the rest of Great Zimbabwe. Magnificent. This is so beautiful. So this is um, where the name Zimbabwe comes from. Um, Zimbabwe means house of stone. Um, like just you see here, this city was built out of just stone. No mortar, no mud, nothing holding the stones together. So this is where the name of uh, our country comes from. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, meaning house of stone, and these are the stones uh, that were built. I, I really am not sure when, uh, but they say during the 11th century. That's when um, these walls were put together here. And these that you see here are still the original walls uh, that were built during the 19th century. Um, I believe they were much higher, or they say they were much higher than this, uh, but because of weather and, you know, uh, we have animals here, um, some of the stones are falling off and they are becoming shorter and shorter by the day, uh, but these are the original walls, these are the original parts that our ancestors back then were working on um, during the 11th century. Um, so this is great zimbabwe makes zimbabwe great you know if there is any reason why you should come to zimbabwe is um to come just to see these walls just to see like um how zimbabweans like are a people who are so innovative um you know we are we are great we are great this is great zimbabwe zimbabwe is great and i think you can agree with me here uh so and there are no villages like immediately around this place uh, because they want to preserve this place they know that the more the people like live around this place is going to temper is going to be tempered with uh so there are no people who live like immediately around this place uh, so let's go with me as I show you more of this great Zimbabwe. Um, and on this day, it was quite windy. It was windy. Uh, so I think you understand like the windy sound that is there. Um, it's because it was windy on this day. So let's go and explore more about the great Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm.
Hello. This wall original? Yes, it's original. It's no reconstruction has been done the like is not original. on top, on top. On top, on top, yeah, it's still not original. The entrance is still not original. Well, it's all just the, 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 the yeah. entrance is the one that is not original. Otherwise, everything else everything is original. Is the wood that they used to construct that one. That's the one she was saying chases away evil spirits. Uh -huh. And uh, again, it was the construction was done in 1927. 1927? Yeah. So since then, the, Re the reconstruction was 1927. Yes. My God. So the queen was inside here. Yes. The king up there. Then Karaka uh, believes so. It's a model trying to portray the Shonali tradition well. So it will be showing uh, a structure of uh, polygamous men and men with five wives. And then we are told a man was the yes. one responsible for these children's lives. But in the royal family, you are told. So that was the difference. Mm -hmm. so, we have to go up to here. Yes. <laughs> so these walls you see here are the original walls. No water, no mud, nothing holding them together. It's just stone upon stone. One stone upon another stone for decades and decades. Since 19, I don't know, the 11th century they say. Is when these um, these walls were built, nothing holding these stones together, just one stone upon another. Well, yeah, it makes Zimbabwe so great. This is what makes Zimbabwe great. So these stones that you see here, um, it's said that uh, they will observe the shadows and then they will be able to tell what time of day it was just from observing uh, how elongated the shadows uh, of these stones were. Wow, that was great. These people were just, you know, they were great thinkers. They should be written in the Chinese books of records, I tell you. So this is Zimbabwe, so if you are coming here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment, see you in the next video.